In this video, you will see how to add dynamic validations in Angular Reactive Forms. So here in the use case is like, uh, uh, this is the form that I already have from one of my previous tutorials. It has a name, last name, address, date of birth, and uh, gender selection. So the use case is like, uh, if the user selects a female radio button here, the address validation will be required. If he selects a male, valid, male uh, gender selection here, the address validation would not be required. So we are dynamically adding the required validator on the address field. So uh, let's get started. So in this form, as you can see, by clicking on the save button, you can see that all the fields are required. So while clicking on uh, the male or female, uh, it doesn't really, it's always required. The address field is always required. So let's add a value change event on this uh, radio button, the male female radio button. You go to the app.compound.ts file. Uh, I'll just uh, implement an ng on it here. I'll just move this code to the ng on it. And profile form. I'll just define it here to the type of uh, form group. Okay, and uh, what I'll do is I'll remove the hard-coded validation from here, the coin validation from here, and I'll add value change even to this profile forms uh, gender control dot value changes I'll subscribe to it now depending on like what we are getting here like if the response is a male then what we'll do is we'll clear off validations on uh, address control clear the validators and we'll update the profile form also so I'll just copy this thing and we'll update the value so you go it here and do an update value and validity okay now if it's a female what we require is we just copy paste this thing in this condition we need to set validators here we will set validators and inside will be validators dot validators dot required okay now let's save it let's go to our form here so as you can see here now uh, if I select on the mail and I click on the save button you can see that the address is not required if I go to the female the address is required Okay, now as you can see in the console, so I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll put it as mail. Uh, and enter the values here. Yeah. Uh, if I don't provide the address, I can go without that too also. Like I, I'm able to submit the form here. In the console, you can see the data. Okay, now if I clear it out and if I click on female, you can see the address is mandatory. You don't see the data here. So now, if I enter the data and I click save, I can see. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.